woman who says she witnessed a vicious attack on a man allegedly at the hands of a Baltimore City police officer speaks exclusively with 11 News. That is our big story tonight. City crime cameras captured that incident back in June. That officer has now been suspended with pay. And Police Commissioner Anthony Batts has admitted there are some major problems with the way the department handled the situation. 11 News reporter Kai Reed is live at police headquarters with what that witness had to say. Kai. Well, Kate, uh, Stephanie Coleman says that she has a really hard time watching that video. She said that her first instinct was to get out of that situation as quickly as possible and to protect her friend. Stephanie Coleman is the woman in the video who looks like she's trying to defuse an out of control situation. It was real scary. I didn't know what to do. I just, I just was yelling, just screaming. Stephanie told us that she didn't want to show her face for this interview, but she explained that on June 15th, she and her friend Colin Truss were standing outside of a liquor store near Greenmount and North Avenues when Officer Vincent Kosum told a crowd of people to leave the area. She says they went in to get one more drink before closing time and came out to find Officer Kosum shouting accusations at Truss. He said, did you just assault her? Did you just put your hands on her? He said, I didn't assault her. I said, he didn't assault me. He said, he did just assault you. I said, no, he didn't. Kind of was like, why you um, treat me, you know, disrespect me like I'm a man, like you're a man. I'm human, like you're human. And treat me how you want to be treated. I'm not no kid, I'm 32. Stephanie says that she and Trust turned and walked across the street toward the nearby bus stop, but Kosum followed them. Then we were surrounded by our office. Then he just came up out of nowhere and just hit him. That first hit actually knocked him out. Then he started hitting him, which is. We'll come back up. Police Commissioner Batts told reporters that although the department had the video since June, he didn't know about it until it was shown in the media on Monday. Tuesday, Officer Kosum was placed on paid administrative leave. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake says the video just further illustrates a comprehensive need for reform. Everything that you see, everything that I saw was a concern to me. It wasn't handled right at the incident, and it, and it certainly wasn't handled right afterwards. This be gone. Like, just not begging the police force. That's it for him because if he did it this time, how many more times he won't do it again? And now Colin Truss was initially arrested and charged after the incident, but prosecutors dropped those charges when they determined that Officer Kosum's story did not match what was seen on video. Now, Baltimore City Police also released the names of two other officers who were there at the time of the incident, Officers Dominic Gerber and Christopher Dunlap. They did not give an employment status for those officers. So reporting live at Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Kai Reed, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right, Kai, thank you.